Hello, one and all, and thank you for joining me for my review of last night's episode of the September 30th edition of NXT. And, you know, I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but what can I say? This was another good episode of NXT. I enjoyed this episode a lot. It was a refreshing change of pace from the three-hour boar fest that we have to suffer through every Monday night. This one-hour show was just chock-full of good matches, some good development of storylines, and it got me excited for NXT TakeOver Respect next Wednesday, which will see the um, cum cum cumulation, culmination excuse me, of the semifinals for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, the eventual finals for the Classic, Sasha Banks versus Bayley, um, we also have uh, Tyler Breeze versus Paulo Cruz and Asuka versus Dana Brooks. So there are six matches in total that have been announced for NXT TakeOver um, Respect. And I'm looking very much forward to the show. You know, being in attendance for my first NXT event at uh, TakeOver Brooklyn was one of the best wrestling events I've ever been to. Probably the best because it was just an all-around solid experience. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna they're gonna have a good show uh, next Wednesday night on October seventh. So a lot going on that day. And uh, with that, let's get into our review of tonight's episode of NXT. So we kicked this week off with a tag team match. Uh, this was. Um, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe taking on Colin Cassidy and Enzo Amore. And the winner of this match would uh, advance to the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And uh, this was a fun, you know, uh, enjoyable match to get things going. Um, I've never seen these two teams, all four of these men, compete against each other in a tag team match. So it was different. Um... You know, it was a solid match. Good way to get the show off um, off and running. Um, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe were able to uh, pick up the win after um, Joe was able to uh, hit the uh, Muscle Buster and then Balor hit the Coup de Gras for the win. So, uh, it was a good match. I saw... Um, Balor and Joe advancing to the semifinals, and I could actually see them making a run to the finals. And there might be either, well, I'm I'm thinking a split's going to happen, and that'll eventually lead to Balor versus Joe being set up for the NXT Takeover uh, London event in December for them to face off for the title, and that'll be a tremendous feud. So I like how you know. Something could happen between both of them. I haven't really teased much. You know, a little bit here and there, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, next week at the TakeOver special. So, uh, it was a good opening match for the show. Then we had um, Johnny Gargano take on Apollo Crews. Um, you know, once again, another good match. I enjoyed it. I like Johnny Gargano. I... Uh, I like him more and more every time I see him uh, on NXT. And Apollo Crews, you know, what can I say? This this guy's going to go places. He's he's definitely going to be a WWE heavyweight champion. I'm calling it right now. A lot of people are saying it. He definitely has what it takes. He's just physically gifted, athletic big guy. Um, you know, for a guy his size, the way he moves around the ring, it's just really, uh, really impressive. And uh, he was able to pick up the uh, win. After um, he was able to hit the uh, Gorilla Press Slam and the Standing Moonsault. So Cruz defeated Johnny Gargano in um, a pretty good match. Pretty nice little match. Then we had a tag team divas, a women's match. It was Peyton Royce and uh, Billy Kay taking on Dana Brooke and uh, Emma. Um, this was... Um, like I said, it was a good way to um, showcase the power of Dana Brooke. And um, it was announced before this that it will be Dana Brooke taking on Asuka at TakeOver next week in Asuka's debut match. So that should be fun to see. Um, 
Brooke and uh, Emma were able to, you know, control a good majority of this match until, um, you know, uh, what's her face? I forget whoever was in the ring tried to make the hot tag. I think it was Billy Kay. Um, and she was able to make the tag. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, Brooke was able to stop the comeback and was able to uh, hit her finisher, the Death Valley Driver, and pick up the win. So, you know, the, what they intended to do here was to make Brooke look very um, dominant going into her match against Asuka, and I had no problem with this match. It was a fun women's tag match and definitely better, better than what we've been seeing on the main roster. So, um... We'll have to see what happens at um, TakeOver Respect between Asuka and Dana Brooks. So, that was that. Then we had a match that I um, I liked. I, I really did. Um, it was uh, Tommaso Ciampa versus Tyler Breeze. Um, they gave these guys a good amount of time to work, and I thought they made, made the most of it. Uh, there was a couple botches here and there. But, you know, as time went on, I thought these guys, you know, were working better and better against each other. You know, they were really picking it up in the ring. Um, so I'm glad and I'm hopeful that both Ciampa and Gargano um, will hopefully be in NXT for the long haul. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is just a couple, you know, one-time appearances or whatnot, but <coughs> I would like to see them. Be in NXT, I think they would be great boost to the uh, the already uh, stacked roster in NXT. So we'll have to see what happens there. But um, these guys had a pretty good match. I liked it, and Tyler Breeze was able to defeat Champa when he was able to hit the um, his version of what looked like Christian's kill switch, and uh, he picked up the uh, victory. And then we had a tremendous, this was one of my favorite parts of um, the show. Before this, there was a backstage promo between uh, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. And then they were talking about how they are just going to breeze by um, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder in the semifinals for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And then uh, Dash and Wilder showed up and they said, that, no, there's no way that you guys are think they're just going to get by us, and uh, they had a nice little uh, verbal confrontation going back and forth, so that was good, and also there was a backstage uh, promo with Baron Corbin and Rhino, and they just completely blew off uh, any doubt that, you know, they might not be able to beat Balor and Joe, and they pretty much said that they're going to be the ones that win the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, so those are going to be our two semi <coughs> excuse me, our two semifinal matches. It's going to be Joe and Balor taking on uh, Rhino and Baron Corbin, and Chad Gable and Jason Jordan taking on Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. So those should be two good semifinal matches, and I'm interested to see who dances into the finals and wins the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I'm glad they're doing a tournament. You know, we don't see a lot of this on the main roster, so it's something different. It's just it's another reason why NXT is so enjoyable to watch each and every week. And to end the show, after the Champa and Breeze match, we had a tremendous video package for Sasha Banks and Bailey's upcoming Iron Man, 30 Man Iron Man, 30 Minute Iron Man match uh, next Wednesday. And it was a great produced video. It really got you excited for their main event match, and it's tremendous that the women are gonna main event because they sure as hell deserve it. They deserve it, Vince. If you would do it on the main roster, it would be awesome, but you don't know what the hell you're doing, so whatever. But here in NXT, where the women's revolution is truly happening, this video just, it, it showed both sides. It showed Sasha Banks and Bayley, how bad they're fighting and training, and they're ready for this rematch, and they're going to give it their all, and they're probably going to have another match of the year candidate, and um, we need more of this. Especially on the main roster, you don't get these these awesome, you know, video packages highlighting the journey for both, um, <coughs> excuse me, opponent and challenger. So it was a great video package and a, and a good way to close off this episode 
NXT that I fully enjoyed. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. It wasn't really a bad part of the show, and uh, it got me very excited for TakeOver Respect next week. And you can respect, expect my review of NXT TakeOver. Uh, there's only one issue with that. Next week, uh, I got a lot to watch. It's going to be a busy week. We got um, the wild card game for the Pirates that Wednesday night. Uh, in addition, the Hawks, the Chicago Blackhawks, open, open their season that night. And uh, there's just going to be too much to watch that night. So, um, And then the day after that, Thursday evening, the Penguins open their uh, season. So at the latest, I'm going to be posting my TakeOver review, TakeOver Respect review by the weekend. I'm going to have to probably watch it on Friday, get caught up on it. So I will give you my full thoughts and opinions and yeah, whatnot. So... Good episode of NXT. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe if you want to see more videos from this channel. Thank you for all who watch. I appreciate it. Without you, this channel would be nothing. And with that, I am out. Peace.